Okay, so let's get started. Let's get a Linux server where we can install Zabbix. Now, I want my server to be on 24 hours a day and I want it to be easily accessible from many physical locations. So I'm going to use a cloud provider for that and I normally use DigitalOcean. Now, you may be tempted to use a VM on your local computer or Windows subsystem for Linux. Neither of them are going to give you a good experience and it's very likely you will not succeed in getting it to work on Windows subsystem for Linux. So there are many cloud providers to choose from, but I'm going to use DigitalOcean. And if you use my coupon link here, you'll get $200 credit for 60 days. And that is plenty for the amount of servers that we're going to use throughout the course. Also be aware that free credit offers can change from time to time. But right now, if you use my link, you'll get $200 for 60 days to try out products. Now this coupon will only work if you don't already have a DigitalOcean account. In that case, I have options for Hetzner and Vulture. I've never used Vulture personally, but I've used Hetzner a lot and it's very similar to DigitalOcean. So if you've used either system, it'll be a very similar experience. Also, the other benefit of using the cloud provider is that we are going to break things. Do not run this on your personal computer or your work servers that you are using for production. Only install this on a server that is no risk in case you break it. In the case of DigitalOcean, if we break it, we can always delete it and rebuild it again. And it doesn't take very long once you have experience installing Zabbix at least once. It's only complicated the first time. Okay, so I'm going to get my Linux server now and I'm going to use DigitalOcean. Okay, so I've logged on to DigitalOcean and I've created myself a project called Zabbix Course. You don't have to create a project if you don't want to, but it is optional. Okay, I'm going to create a droplet now using this green button, droplet. I'm going to choose a region. Doesn't really matter what you use. I'm going to stick with Frankfurt in this case since it was the default. If I scroll down, I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to choose Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Now, this is important what operating system you choose. This page is the official Zabbix download page. Zabbix integrates very tightly into your operating system. So you need to make sure you choose exactly the same number. So I'm going to use Ubuntu 24.04. Now, on DigitalOcean, there are other options such as 23.10. And from time to time, there'll be different versions. There is no Zabbix for this version of Linux, it needs to be exact because you will have problems installing. And this is a common problem that people have when beginning with Zabbix. Now, if you're experienced with other operating systems here, you can try that. But like I say, I'm going to use Ubuntu 24.04. So back to DigitalOcean. Okay, so I've got that 24.04. Okay, needs to be exact. Okay, scroll down. I'm going to use this $16 a month, two gigabytes, seven gigs NVMe SSD, two terabyte transfer. You could actually use that if you wanted to, or you could even use the regular SSD, the $12 a month. I'm going to use that because I can be sure the Zabbix is going to run properly on this spec. It will run on the other specs as well, but throughout the course, this is the one that I'll be using. And if you use my coupon, it's not gonna cost you anything anyway for 60 days. And remember, as long as you don't use up $200 worth of credit in the 60 days, it's not going to cost you anything if you delete everything before your time is up. Okay, so further on, I'm not going to add a volume. Now, if you know how to use SSH keys, then I recommend doing that. You can create an SSH key using DigitalOcean. Now, if you're a beginner, I would steer away from doing that because it is quite a complicated subject in itself. So instead of an SSH key, use a password that you can set yourself and change at any time you like. Okay, I'm not going to use the password option, but this will be an easier experience for you if you are not familiar with how SSH keys work. Okay, so I'm going to select my SSH key. Okay, further down. Now I'm going to name it anything I like. Zabbix server like that and create droplet. Okay, so after a minute that will have completed and you would have been given an IP address. Okay, now that's my server. It has been created as an Ubuntu 24.04. It is on the internet and it's running from Frankfurt. This is the server that I'll be using throughout the course. Okay, so that is good. I recommend so that your experience closely matches what I show in the videos, that you do the same as me. But you do have choices and where you put your server and which cloud provider you use. And I do have some free credit options for you down here in case you need them. In the next video, we'll actually start installing and setting up Zabbix on our new server. Excellent.